everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for another edition of Let's Argue. <laughs> Is it even an argument? I asked you guys for the worst album covers of all time, and you've sent me nothing but absolute trash. And uh, here's part two of of that jesus lord these two are the worst album covers i've ever seen we have uh, Rilo. rodriguez with a uh, goat in human form yeah everyone wants to be the goat everybody got to be the goat and this one's uh pretty terrible but then the next one kevo money baby goat didn't we talk about this one in the best albums art video I'm, I'm pretty sure we've talked about that one then and uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm consistent on this, but this album cover is great. 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 I've seen some pretty terrible uh, album covers in my day, but this is uh, this is certainly one of them. This album cover is amazing. This one's not even trash. Like the other one, he's just like half man, half goat. He's feeding lean to a goat. The like uh, 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 Photoshop here is trash. Like, his torso transition into the goat is really rough and choppy. Um, the bits where I think they're trying to add hair to his shoulders look like shit. Uh, his face, he just, looks, he just looks, looks asleep. He doesn't even look awake on his own album cover! But then from there, like, bro, Kevo Money getting delivered in this beautiful illustration. <laughs> He's being born <laughs> as a whole adult. I love it. I, I love this one. I, a big respect to this one. And the, the look of fear on the goat's face as she's giving birth. Like, I, uh, it's it's amazing. This is, ama this is incredible. This is incredible. Now that's what I call music cover art has always been an eyesore to me, just ugly. Honestly, I mean, you can certainly say that about the old stuff. That is true. That is true. But the now that's what I call music cover art has like really come a long way. Like there's so many fucking lens flares on this shit. Jesus Christ. But they're, they're small. They're subtle. They're well placed. I'm, I'm just loving the way the light hits the logo. Like this is delicious. It makes me want to go out into the uh, ocean and just swim. I'm also loving the bits of ocean life in, in the background. The sea urchins and starfish. That one starfish is flying in the fucking sky. And the, uh, the, the sea horse as well um i'm liking this one i'm actually liking this one it's it's like i feel like uh th this is hyper pop this is hyper pop this is uh this is sea punk you know but like done right everything about it it looks depressing and the pigeon just shouldn't be there who even likes pigeons well you must not be from new york where uh new yorkers love pigeons like for new yorkers pigeons are basically just dogs they're everywhere you feed them you name them you take them home as a pet but yeah even though i do like this album quite a bit it's always struck me as like a really weird cover Nas's placement on sort of that wall is really awkward the angle at which the photo is being taken puts elements of his body in in weird proportion like his hands look fucking gigantic in this photo <laughs> And just like the, the track suit he's wearing, man, like it's so tacky and just doesn't really uh, play that nicely against the grimy cityscape behind him. Uh, the gradient on his name is awful, and the way Stillmatic is painted on the wall and painted and etched uh, looks like trash. Um, yeah, it's, it's not a great album cover. Why is it McDonald's themed, but we have a Burger King logo? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Might have something to do with trying to escape copyright, although no, that, that's just like a play on another logo. Yeah, I, I have no idea, really. I truly honestly don't. But honestly, like, for this time period in Gucci's career, like, this isn't even the dumbest or tackiest looking mixtape that he's done. Like, there are way worse ones that he's done. Ruzel Stern and Gurgle Stocks. <laughs> Nail Dilemma? Just use your imagination on what this is. The CD case came packaged with hair as well. Jesus Christ, this is disgusting. What even is this? Is this a condition? Is this a condition someone has? All this wrinkled skin with ha long hair just popping out of the pockets? Uh, I'm disgusted by this. I'm moving on. My man bust out 50 odd albums, but then he should have at least hired someone with Photoshop. Viper. Cops can't... <laughs> Why is Viper traveling across the galaxy right now to tell us that cops 
which for all we know is a thing only relegated to Earth, at least in our galaxy anyway, uh, that they, they, they can't read. The Photoshop on Viper's head seems oddly weird and awkward as well. It just seems like there's a lot of air brushing up here, but then on the side of his face, it's, it's just like a very hard, like, you know, edit out on the sides of his head. And that ear, man, you, you really fucked up that ear, bro. You fucked up that ear almost as bad as a uh, Pop Smoke's ear got fucked up on, on Virgil's album art. Trapaholics, Jose Guapo, Osama Bin <laughs> Guapo. <laughs> the edit of the face on Osama Bin Laden's body is terrible. And he's flying the planes or the planes are being flown into Universal and Def Jam. Like, Jesus. Uh, and oh, I, I didn't notice the chains. Wow, the chains look terrible. Not only that, but it looks like the same chain copied like three times, but just like different sizes. <laughs> this is terrible. Borgor, the art of gore is gross. This, this is gross. gross. This rules, honestly. Like uh, some uh, cute anime girl with an angry uh, pink unicorn, killing with a uh, rainbow shard. No, this album art rules. This rocks. The black flag, what the cover? The more that I look at this, I wonder if Green Day's latest cover takes inspiration from this in some way. Like, they were really jealous that Black Flag had the worst punk cover of all time and they felt like they needed to one-up them in some way. What the hell is this thing? The face and the, and the, and the off-kilter eyes and the tongue sticking out and it's green and the pink hair. And the one hand is doing the rock sign and the other one's just kind of pointing, but the fingers are all like fucked up. And the weirdest thing is like, how pixelated is this picture? The Black Flag logo is <laughs> super crisp. And the title is super crisp, but the image in the background is so fucking disgustingly grainy. It's just disgusting. It's disgusting to look at. This is like piss in my eyes. Uh, maybe not the worst, but it's still in the conversation. <laughs> This Queen the Miracle cover. It looks like something from a, from a fucking Hellraiser movie. I'd be horrified for sure. You know, you got like a, a, a pinhead and you got fucking, what is it? The big lips one that, that has the huge smile or mouth or something. And the, the other weird ones. And then this fucking thing, the four members of Queen with their faces all melted together. I'm also loving how Freddie Mercury is the only one who's both of his eyes are intact, it seems, whereas everybody else is sort of like sharing an eye, but Freddie Mercury, he's he's got both the eyes. That's that's really saying a lot about the uh you know, I, I guess I guess who 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 really wears the pants in the band. Maroon 5 Red Pill Blues looks like a stan account made it if Maroon 5 had any stands. <laughs> How are there this many people in Maroon 5? You could make Maroon 5's music with like three dudes. Why 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 are there seemingly seven dudes in Maroon 5? Ugh! Why would Fat Mike do this to me? And you guys were disgusted at the uh the uh, the Ariel Pink cover with the guy kissing the dog. This is worse. This is worse by every metric. Ugh. Like I'm just I'm I'm looking at this and and it I, it just <laughs> I'm getting the smell of a really bad farm in my nose and I just want to leave and just ugh. My my allergies are getting triggered just with all the dander like in the in the in the sheep crotch. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I mean I mean this is this is uh I'm I'm viscerally having a reaction <laughs> to this. Smash mouth magic? I don't think I've ever seen this cover before. This is real? Half of it looks like some terrible shit you grabbed off of Getty Images and then just sort of like, you know, purchased to work into this album cover. What is this? When did this come out? I'm, I'm totally unaware of how this came together. I was totally unaware of its existence until now. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm not uh, uh, surprised. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's that's it. Those are my takes on another batch of the worst album covers of all time. Uh, these are terrible, uh, but you're great. You're fantastic for watching. Mwah.
love you. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, let's argue forever.